morning or good day, many people. I just cannot go back to sleep and I just found out that right now, right here, even the solar wind from our sun is not really strong, about three or something. But we got the three different source of solar storm for the others. You can look at this one. We are the energy surround Earth right now, even from the back and from the front, that inside the shield, Venerant Bell. This is the Venerant Bell. Another danger, another danger, another danger. One, two, three, four, five. About five layers. It means about six directions that come to hit the Earth because we didn't cover in the back right here. So, how could the six source of energy pour to the earth at this time? It is the first time that we can see that the, the energy around the earth at the daylight side in front of the sun. Definitely, they don't come from our sun. Last night in my time, I explained in Thai for my people. Right now, right here, you can see the energy pour in this way a lot. Even up here, the green one at the front of the earth, but inside of the land you see the green one right here. As I always say that, energy not only come from the sun, but come from only this way. Maybe down here, in right here, or in the back here, or up down here, and between another one in in the rear. Therefore, it's not only the solar system X behind us. That one should belong to the nemesis, that be the source of the energy, and Nibiru should be the planet in nemesis solar system. But what up front? So many star get inside our solar system and make the earth magnetic field peculiar. Take a look at the shape of the north magnetic field right here. Take a close look at the electromagnetic magnetic field at the north and the south. North and the south. The peculiar, right? Very low solar wind from our sun, but strong solar wind from other suns. We are closer and closer to the pole ship. Not in the front, the sun right there, and the solar wind to form that way, that of the over there to this side. But look at the color. It's strong color, it means strong energy in the back side, even the green one. At the early about uh, 2100 in my in my town, right here, so big greens, almost a cycle around here, and they pop up, bump to the front, and bump back again. You can see that many solar wind or solar storm from other hit earth, not in the front. The tail. Not being good at all. Earth is going to be fit pretty soon, but as the data up on today, I still believe that it should be about next June 2023rd. And how about the magnetic knot when it will reach mark? 40 degree. As I calculate and take a look, it should be released by this December 21st. I am not granted that I am. I got the result right, but anyway, at any time, I believe that after December 21st, anything could happen. Don't wait until February until March or next June. You have to prepare yourself 
Look at the high ground and the best way is to have the underground shelter. <clears throat> Only about uh, six hours ago, I <clears throat> speak to my people. You to need energy from outside, pour to the earth at the north, not in the south. But last night in my time, six hours ago, it going at the south, not in the north. It always indicates that north and south will flip, but it's not really upside down like that. But the magnetic may, may be upside down like that, but the earth geographic not upside down like that. It should move to some, some place else, let's say maybe as on the calculation and as on the information. At the west of Sumatra, Indonesia should be the new pole. I did not also, but it probably to be North Pole. We have to wait to see those things together. But this time, prepare yourself. Keep your head down, do your best. At least, look for the high ground, about 2,000 feet over the mean sea level for your safe zone. And if it's possible, try to have underground shelter at any type of underground shelter. Even you have to dig the cave by yourself, it should be better than nothing. So, God be with us and God save our soul.